Hi, I am going to discuss about uh, inverter, NMOS inverter. NMOS inverter function is when you are giving zero input, we need to get one output. When you are giving one input, you should get uh, the output should be zero. This is the symbol. Why it is NMOS means uh, we we are using two NMOS transistors. One is depletion mode NMOS, and uh, one more is enhancement mode NMOS transistors. Uh, we are going to use uh, to design an inverter, NMOS inverter. So that's why it is uh, named as that is NMOS inverter. This is VDD supply, and this is VIN we are giving here. So it is NMOS means because two are NMOS. One is uh, depletion mode NMOS. One more is enhancement mode and mass transistors we are using. How we will get uh, the output? You can check it. So here, this is the depletion mode. First uh, depletion mode means this is the depletion mode and mass transistor. Depletion mode and mass. Uh, depletion mode and mass means already the channel is established between uh, source and drain between source and drain while fabrication so then it is uh, named as it is named as uh, depletion mode transistor so already channel is there between source and drain it is an n mass means p substrate required this these are the electrons so already the channel is established between source and drain so this is an depletion mode transistor depletion mode and coming to the enhancement mode, this is also an MOS enhancement mode, enhancement mode, dip enhancement mode. So this uh, there is no channel between source and drain while fabrication. Then it is called as enhancement mode transistor. So it requires some extra biasing uh, to goes to the on condition. So this is the, there is no channel between source and drain. You can see this. I am drawing. So no channel between source and drain uh, for a uh, transistor. Then it is called as enhancement mode transistor. So this is the gate and this is the source and this is the drain terminal, source gate drain. So this is about depletion and enhancement mode. How uh, uh, we will get uh, 1 and 0, you will check it. While giving 1, you should get, you should get 0 output. While giving 0, you should get 1 output. So that is the operation. When, but before that, how when it is goes to on condition, when it is uh, goes to off condition, you can see this uh, the transistors. So we can uh, see this if you take PMOS transistor. This is a symbol for PMOS having source, gate, uh, drain terminals. Uh, if you take NMOS transistor, uh, we can see this uh, the symbols. This is source, uh, gate, and drain terminals are there. So this is an PMOS and uh, this is an NMOS transistor, NMOS, NMOS. So this is having NPN transistor or else uh, one more, it is having PNP terminals or the PMOS. So while giving one, uh, it will goes to off condition and uh, it will goes to NMOS will goes to on condition. While giving zero, why it is, I will explain. When you are giving zero, it will goes to on condition the PMOS, and it will goes to off condition, off condition. Why? Because we we know that there are three conditions are there for uh, MOSFET. Uh, you can see this. When VGS first condition VGS less than VGS VGS less than or equal to Vt. This is the first condition. If it is there, threshold voltage is uh, less than or equal to Vgs. V Vgs is not sufficient. So then it will goes to cutoff region. So that's the reason uh, sometimes it will goes to off condition because there is no sufficient Vgs. So it will goes to cutoff region. When you are giving one, this will not have sufficient Vgs. So that's the reason it will goes to cutoff. And uh, one more condition is there for your transistor VGS uh, minus VT less than or equal greater than or equal to VDS. So in this case, the channel is established 
but there is no sufficient current flowing from source to drain and uh, it is uh, a trans transistor will act as an ohmic region ohmic region so this region is named as ohmic region channel is established but uh, no uh, sufficient current will flow from source to drain and from third condition you can see this vgs minus vgs minus vt less than or equal to vds so here there is a sufficient drain and uh, source voltage then it is uh, called as saturation region so these are the three regions for a mosfet so that's the reason it will goes to off condition and uh, when vgs is not sufficient and here also this condition uh, it will goes to off condition because of not sufficient vgs so here uh, coming to the operation you can see this uh, when you are giving one when you are giving one and so i'll so this is the anyhow this is the depletion mode this is an enhancement mode depletion depletion mode oh, when you are giving one we can say this so this is an n mos so it will goes to on condition it will goes to on condition so one just one more assumption if you are assumed like this uh, that is easy for you so it is an n p n n p n so this is an easy for you one to positive so it is it will uh, uh, goes to on condition and here source and gates it is a source gate and drain terminal it is a already depletion mode transistor source and gates are interconnected so that there is a sufficient vgs uh, uh, to goes to the on condition always here the transistor will goes to on condition here there is a sufficient vgs because gate and source are interconnected so that it will uh, have a sufficient vgs uh, to goes to the on condition so that's why it is always on condition here so now we can say this when you are giving one one to positive it will goes to on condition there is a sufficient radius so means this is on and this is on uh, we can say this uh, it will goes to the vdd is flowing through this transistor t1 and transistor t2 totally it is grounded hence the output is zero this is the first condition coming to the second condition i will uh, uh, i will give i will give i will give zero i will give zero here uh, when you are giving zero so here zero to positive means it is just assumption only zero to positive reverse bias just assume uh, so means it is uh, previously it is one to positive followed by just assumption so zero to positive it is reverse bias just it will um, just assume it is it will goes to off condition because means here actually it is there is no sufficient vgs so zero to positive is reverse uh, we can assume so it it will goes to off condition now it is acted as an open circuit there is no flow here there is uh, it is open it is open open so that's why that's why here it is open so that's why here it is always on condition so then the vdd is flowing through this direction hence the output is high or else one so this is the operation uh, for nmos inverter and uh, coming to the characteristics you can see this when the input is zero uh, the output is uh, high when the input is high uh, output is zero when the input is high output is almost zero so if both are same and in between it will be uh, input output so this is about uh, n mos inverter if you have any doubts please send uh, any suggestions you can send to me thank you